Hello and welcome. I'm Bill and this is Intro to C. This is the summary and homework section of chapter zero. So this summarizes what has happened in the chapter and I also be giving out homework for this chapter. So to summarize this chapter um, we explained the brief history of C, its origins and the cre reason why it was created in the first place. The process of making any program and this doesn't matter what language it was in, it could be in C, it could be in C++, it could be in Java, any language, and the process you have to go through to make a program. And then we went to talk about how to install Visual Studio, the tool that we're going to be using to create our C programs with, and how to get the basic use out of Visual Studio. I also explained how to set up your project, your C project, in Visual Studio, so that we could start this project so we don't have to have all the setup work and it's already done for us okay good so now now that we have the summary done let's talk about the homework now I've got a massive thing in red paint here or red text do not give it to me I do not want this homework this homework is for your self practice and self improvement um, so I will not mark it so if you have any questions about it, do if you've got questions about the homework, I will not give solutions, but please ask them in the comments below or I or someone else will answer them. So the, the homework for this chapter at least is very simple. It's just to set up a C project. Literally do what I did in the previous episode, but without looking at the episode. I want you to know how to do this off by heart. It may not seem difficult, because it isn't a difficult task, but I want to show, make you understand how to set up a project within Visual Studio. And that's the first piece of homework. The second piece is I want you to save a file within Visual Studio and then find it with the Explorer. So your Explorer in Windows is just the, um, like the file Explorer in here. So this opens up in my, this PC by the, or my computer, whatever you want to call it to begin with and you can search through here yes good so that is what you need to find in so you save that file within your product you need to find your project with the explorer and then find that exact file that's one thing to do and then the second thing is I want you to customize visual, the Visual Studio workspace now what I mean by the workspace is all those toolbars and widgets I want you to learn how to create those extra, extra toolbars and what those toolbars are. I want you to just move around these these panels and widgets and stuff around into other configurations. I want you to understand how to uh, change all the fonts. I want you to change all the, the color settings and all that a lot. Just experiment. This is an experimentation. Don't worry if you do something wrong. You can always reset your settings. Now you need to go learn how to do that. You need to learn how to save your settings as well and back them up and just experiment is the first thing I want you to experiment and learn some of the stuff I don't mean to learn how to see just learn the Visual Studio and what what tools it may have that you may find useful you may not know what they are yet but they may sound useful okay so thank you for watching this chapter and stay tuned for the next chapter where we'll be actually creating our first ever C programs and I'll explain how they work so stay, stay tuned for that, and as always, thank you for watching, and have fun learning.